down, please. Shut it down? Yeah, shut it down. Can I turn it off, please? What's up, Planet Roller Skaters? Indy Jamma Jones here. Today I'm hanging out with Matt Mickey from Intuition Skate Shop. And we are walking into Walmart right now where we are going to try to buy some roller skates straight off the shelf, head to Venice, and see if we can make them work. So uh, let's do it. The kid just asked if I was a YouTuber when he saw the camera. <laughs> I guess I am. There's no denying it anymore. Sign. Pretty cool base. All right. So it turns out Walmart doesn't have roller skates. They have these like. You guys probably just watched a commercial for these right before my episode came on. They show these on my channel all the time. So. Uh, shut it down, please. Shut it down. Yeah, shut it down. Like, turn it off, please. What's up? Well, that was an epic fail. Not only did they not have roller skates, but because I'm obviously a YouTuber with this camera now, they told us to shut it off. They were kind of scary too. Yeah, <laughs> they were very sense. intimidating. And like, they were like dressed normal. They didn't even look like security people. They were like plain clothes, Walmart guards hanging out, watching for YouTubers causing down. a ruckus. Can't be filming in Walmart. So we're gonna go to Big Five. Yep, <laughs> the hunt is on. All right, so we're at Big Five now. I, we don't have Big Fives in Texas. In Texas, we have like Academy Sporting Goods Store, but the Big Five here on the West Coast is kind of your uh, your general sporting goods store. So we're gonna go see what they have. But this time, we're getting smarter and using an iPhone, so we're not so obvious. Let's go. <laughs> Fifty bucks. Let's do it. Have my Chicago skates here. Uh, first impressions: the boot actually doesn't look so bad. Might actually work for a minute. Uh, but the wheels and the plate and the toe stop are like complete plastic. Um, these wheels are like a hard plastic. They're not normal urethane, so I feel like they're going to be pretty rough. Um, let's see. They spin, so that's good. Got a little bit roll going on there. All right, put them on. Give it a try. It said on the box that these were 50 bucks. I think I actually paid 38 for them in the end. So this is definitely the cheapest skate or the lowest price skate I've ever worn. Um, I'm really curious to see if I'm even gonna be able to go down the street. The wheels are definitely gonna be hard, so that's gonna be a struggle. Taking hard wheels on rough concrete, you know, can be a little difficult sometimes, but I'm gonna make it work. Because you wanna know what? Here's the thing. I was the kid that if my parents bought me $40 Chicago skates, I was so pumped and I was gonna skate them until they fell apart and I would make it work no matter what. So that's the attitude that I'm going into this with. It's like, I'm so lucky to get these roller skates. My parents are the best, slash, I've been saving up to get some roller skates. And I'm just so stinking excited to do this right now. So that's the attitude I'm going in with. Yeah? <laughs> Okay, here we go, wish me luck. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I can't really push on the wheels because every time I try to push, anytime I try to like um, stride, my skate slips out from under me because the wheels aren't gripping, they're just like this plastic, so. I'm gonna try not to fall when I do this. The other thing I noticed is that the trucks are really squirrely. They're like pulling my feet weird ways and I can't really control it. If this 
It's Christmas morning and I just got these. I would be pretty pumped right now. that I'm scared about right now is whenever I turn my foot, my boot is actually touching the wheel. So like that's gonna kill me in the bowl. If I try to hit car, then I get stuck right there. No, okay. Honestly, I'm scared to drop into the bowl because the wheel is touching the boot, which means I can't carve. So I'm not gonna do that right now, especially during a busy session. Just be wasting everybody's time. Dude, I slipped, for real. Get it off. conclusion from skating down to Venice hanging out for a bit and then skating back is if you get these skates for Christmas they're enough to roll down your street and to get the feeling you'll feel the breeze in your hair you'll get the sparkle in your eye but if you skate and you get good and you know how to stop and you know how to turn these skates are not going to last you very long and there becomes a real question of safety uh, I'm slipping a lot because the wheels and the toe stop aren't real urethane and the trucks are already really loose and I feel like I'm bending the plastic. This is what the skate looks like after skating for about half an hour or less probably. Um, toe stop is hard plastic, it's already grinding off but this didn't even help me stop so that's pretty useless. You can see the wheels, it feels like the ground now because there's all these dents in them and they're starting to chunk. Um, but hey, they still spin. That's surprising, I thought they wouldn't spin. Yeah, this is super loose. Look at that, that's wobbling all around in there. And even though it's it's like tight, it's held on. That's, that's too much, too much wobble. So these were about $40. So the next step up are $99 Candy Girl skate or the Impala skates. And if you can save up or if you can invest in those, I think that's a much better option. They're gonna last you longer. Even just replacing the wheels and the toe stop on this would put you at that same price as just getting a better skate. Even when we just went down to Venice, I had three or four people say, those are the skates I started on. They're like, oh, my friend had those skates. Can you believe she was ram skating in them? And it's possible, so people do it. You know, if this is all you have, go for it. Like, skate your heart out. Be, I would wear your pads and stuff and be prepared because they are a little sketchy. Or the thing that they said was those were my first pair of skates. They were the starter pair. They were enough to get the inspiration to invest in a better pair. And when you do, you're gonna really notice. So these are definitely a toy skate. I recommend not getting them. I recommend getting ones that are the step up.